Hello everyone, welcome to PSP Machines. In this episode, we will create one-time secret. First of all, let me show how this machine works. If you Google one-time secret, then uh, you will see this uh, website. So, uh, if you would like to share a, a password or some secret message to someone, then um, this uh, one-time secret machine will uh, convert your message, uh, create a link uh, that you can share with someone. So if now you can save this link and um, uh, so if the link is open then uh, you can see the secret. Uh, the special thing about this uh, link is uh, if you open again it will expire right. So you can only view the link once you can only see the message once. So we'll uh, create this machine today. Uh, so uh, we'll also learn some new concepts first of all let's see what we'll uh, use uh, to create this machine today uh, we'll be using uh, associative arrays uh, today so uh, if you go to PSP arrays in W3 schools then um, this is how you can create a simple array right so array is uh, something like a list you can add elements like this um, so here you have an array that has three values uh, we'll be using associative arrays today so associative array is also a list but uh, it stores values as key value pairs right it stores values as pairs and these uh, may be related so for example if I would like to store A's of some people then you can store it like this uh, so the benefit is uh, after you can after you store the A's of these three people you can access the A's by just uh, accessing uh, like this right so you just give the name this is key this is value okay so you give the key and it will give you the value uh, after that we'll also use um, file get contents file get contents function is used to read a text file in the server we'll also use file put contents file put contents will be used to write data to a text file in the server um, we'll also be storing data as json okay so um, when using file put content we'll not store like this regular text we'll store in a format called json okay so um, for that um, we'll use two other functions one is json encode the json encode will be used to convert associative array data into json string okay and uh, we'll use decode to convert uh, the json string into array associative array so the json string looks like this okay so now let me uh, log into infinity free So let's look at all the machines we have created so far. So these are the machines we have created. Uh, today we will create one time secret. So for that, uh, let's first uh, create a new folder. Let's name it one time SEC secret. Inside it, let's uh, first create uh, index.psp file. And uh, for now, so let's just print hello. Also in the list, uh, in the machine list page, uh, let's add this entry. So in index.php, uh, let's add our one time secret here. So if we go to our one time secret, then it says hello, okay. So, um, first of all, let's understand how um, associative arrays work and how uh, JSON encode decode work. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's say, um, let's first create uh, a regular array. Okay. So, the way you create a regular array is you just um, uh, write array and then you add in the values.
so I created an array that holds names of three people okay so um, after creating an array the way you access the values of an array is you index with the position okay so you give if you give zero then it will give us the first element if you give uh, zero one two if you give two then it gives the third element okay so this is how you create a normal array but if you would like to um, add values as pairs rather than individually then uh, you can um, use uh, associative array okay so first of all let me just um, capitalize these names so uh, to convert an array into associative array you just uh, for example let's uh, for example we would like to store a's of some people okay so let's um, uh, change the variable name to a's and um, so after that um, uh, so associative arrays have key value pairs okay so this will be key and the value of peter will be uh, let's say um, 35 okay the value of ben will be 37 okay and the value of Joe will be uh, 43 okay this is how you create an associative array now the benefit of this approach is uh, now you can you will be able to know the age of any person okay since they are linked like this since we stored as pairs so um, for example if I would like to know the age of uh, Ben okay then we can key on Ben okay so it gives us 37 so that was the value of Ben is of Ben that is how we create associative arrays and how we use it okay if we uh, key on Joe then we will be able to know the age of Joe it gave us 43 okay after this uh, now um, json encode decode has a relationship with associative arrays so um, so we have created um, is array associative array okay so now let's uh, convert this array into json so the way we do that is we use json encode okay and give it the array so now let's see what happens we have passed in the array and to the function json encode so it gave us this uh, type of string okay it has this format and this string is json string okay so the json also looks similar to associative arrays uh, so it looks like this now we can save this uh, json string to a file in the server okay the way to do, to do that is we'll use file put contents and we can give a file name so let me write is dot json and here we can now give the data so this is the json data okay and for now let's just uh, print done so what we did uh, is we created an array that contains A's of some people and then we converted the array to JSON and then we saved that JSON into A's.json. So what happens if we go to this uh, URL? It gave us done. Now what happened here on the server if we refresh it then we can see uh, <coughs> we can see a new file has been created A's.json and here we can see and this data okay now this format is called json it looks like this okay now um, the next thing what we can do now is we have now saved the values as json okay now we don't need this now we can read that value back okay so the way to read the value back is if i just echo uh, file get contents and is dot json if i just read the file and print it it will uh, print this uh, string okay but 
what if we want to uh, read the um, file but convert this string this string into array okay for that uh, we can use json decode okay so um, so the way to do that is first of all file we get uh, the contents using file get contents and we need to pass this uh, string into json decode okay and this function takes into parameter you have to give true uh, as second parameter now this function will convert that into an array so if i echo is now let's see what happens you can see it has already converted it to, into associative array okay now the benefit of that is since this is now an array we can access it easily for the key let's uh, give it uh, ben okay so if we key it on ben then it gave us 37 okay if we key it on joe it will give us uh, 43 okay this is how we'll uh, use json and associative arrays to create our machine today okay now uh, let's uh, start creating our machine first of all let me uh, go back uh, once again to one time secret first of all let's see how many pages we'll need how many psp pages we'll need uh, the first page will be index.php that will contain this text box and this button after clicking this button uh, another psp will be uh, responsible for creating this link okay and again there will be another psp that will now show our secret okay so this uh, psp will show the secret so we'll need three psp files also one thing you can notice is um, if i give give a message and create a secret link then let's look at this link okay uh, you can see here for this message this link was created now what if i give us a different message with numbers okay now this created another link now let's just see our links you can see here um, the links look similar they have the same base address but at the end you have this thing called token okay this is a random word or you can call it a token uh, so this varies okay now this token will be used to identify that message on the server okay okay now um, let's now let me uh, do a quick sketch um, on how to implement the machine so we'll have this uh, box we'll have this message box and then we'll have a button okay now if i type in a message one two three and create and create what will happen what should happen is on the server side a random token should be created and it should be linked with this message okay so in this case the message one two three if another user gives a different message like uh, secret and clicks on create it should create a different random token and it should link it to that message okay and if you give it yet another message for example this time just um, if you give it a message of pin and click on create then another random token should be created and um, this should be linked with that message pin okay so on the server side we can see here we are we should maintain this link okay we should maintain this link and also what it should do after creating this is it should also give us back the link to view the secret okay so it should it could look something like uh, slash and some psp u.php and it should have a token added in the url okay it should it could have something like this token ty34 uh, 354 okay and when we view this uh, page when we view this page it will go back to our this text file where we have stored the data and it will look for this token okay and to see where that token is 
it finds here so it fetches this message and it displays the message okay this way we'll uh, create our machine today finally one thing also uh, we will need is we will need to keep track of whether this link has been viewed or not okay so it could be a boolean value so uh, the default will be false and after it will be viewed it will change back to true okay so this way we will be storing these uh, three uh, values okay okay now let's uh, start creating our machine for today uh, let me delete these files Uh, today we'll first implement the functionality and then later we'll add styling so first of all let's uh, create an index.psp file type start with the doc type declaration so it has html Uh, we can give it a heading called one time scc secret save it and let's see after that we will need a text box to type in our secret message uh, for that we can use text area so uh, we can we should put it inside the form uh, for the action of the form we need to give uh, the name of the PHP file let's uh, name it generate uh, link.php since this PHP will be uh, responsible for creating the link and the mod method can be post uh, after that inside that we can create the text area and um, we can give the rows uh, as set the rows as 20 and column as 100 after that uh, let's create the submit button and let's uh, give the button name uh, create okay let's save it and let's see Okay, so this is our uh, initial uh, page where we can type in our secret message if i click on create then it uh, cannot find this uh, php file okay so um, the next step is to create this file but let's also first of all give uh, the text box a name so that we can fetch the value uh, we can name it secret okay now we can create our um, generate sorry <clears throat> now we can create this psp file okay now uh, what should uh, this psp file do uh, so the first thing it needs to do is it needs to um, assume that uh, assume that uh, the these mappings file is already present okay uh, for example we, uh, it could be secrets dot json so the first thing we need to do is we need to read this file we need to um, decode it back to um, array we need to then update the array we need to add value to the array and we need to put um, encode the array back to json and save it to the file okay so uh, let's do that first of all let uh, let's face the message so the name we gave to the form element was secret after that we need to read the file uh, secrets.json and we need to decode it uh, to array okay because um, we can only work with arrays so 
after fetching this file we will then decode okay so to decode we use json de decode and uh, we need to give uh, true as second parameter so now this becomes our array name it secrets file get contents okay okay now what do we need to do after we have uh, fetched the array now we can update our array okay what we'll do we'll create a random token here random token and we'll add in these values okay so um, for that we'll need to generate a random string um, i'll use a simple technique here for simplicity i will uh, generate a random number um, in this range and then uh, the random token will be generated like this so uh, i will just append this random number to t okay like this way we have created a random token there are better ways but just for simplicity i have used this way to create a random word uh, like this okay what should we do next to now we should update the array okay we should update the array we should update this array how so we'll update we will use the random token as the key okay and for value we can put here anything but we'll put these two things okay we'll put the message and then true or false for that we can use another array so we can use array and we can use uh, secret for secret we'll give it the secret message and for used key we'll uh, give false okay because we haven't opened the link yet okay after that after we have updated our array now we will be able to uh, convert our array back to the json and save it okay and save it um, back to secret.json so the way to do that is uh, file put contents and what we will put we will uh, put where we will put, we'll update the same secret.json but uh, we need to encode it okay we need to encode the array finally after we have um, updated our array we need to give create a link okay for that we echo uh, the base url will be same so this will be same so it will be http the base url will be same and um, we need to go inside this one time secret and uh, we need to um, give a new php file okay so we can call it uh, something like view this is secret dot php view secret dot php and then we need to add in our token okay we need to add in token we can give token equal to and uh, random uh, token Okay, we need to pass this token so that the server can identify uh, which message is associated with this token okay like here so now let's uh, save it and let's see what happens so now if i type in a message like one two three and click create uh, we can see here uh, a link has been created okay now uh, we need to create our view secret or psp that will now finally show our message for this token okay so let's create that file let's create uh, view sec secret dot psp now what should um, this psp do okay now uh, from this url okay now if uh, you visit this url you will be going to this php okay so uh, first of all let's extract this token since the value is uh, attached to the url you 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 can use get okay so to extract values from url you use get and the name of the parameter is token 
to give token so this way we can fetch the token from the url after we have received the token uh, what should we do we should again read the secrets.json file convert it to, into array so uh, we decode after getting the contents okay and the name of the file will be secrets.json and uh, we need to give it true so we have again uh, read the json file and we have converted it back to the array now we can use the array so in the array we need to first check we need to check um, uh, we need to key on token okay we need to key on token and we need to check whether the used value is true or false if it is false that means uh, it hasn't been opened okay so we can now open we can uh, see the we can give the message okay so now let's uh, do um, so what should we do let's face the message the message will be inside secrets uh, token and the key is secret right key is secret uh, okay and um, after that we need to now update this we need to update uh, used as true because this is going to be viewed okay so use now will be true and finally after updating the array we need to update uh, we need to put it back we will use put contents and we need to save it back uh, so before saving again we need to uh, encode it okay this is the name of the file and we need to json encode it back finally we need to give the message secret message which is inside the message variable and now if uh, the, the link has already been uh, used then we just echo sorry the link uh, has expired okay? okay now let's see if this machine works uh, let me give it a message of one two three click create and let's view this link so it gave us one two three what happens if i go back again to the link it says the link has expired now this time let me give it asd create this is a new link if i go here it says asd if i go here again it says sorry the link has expired so it looks like the machine is working let me quickly review the functionality first and then we'll and if we uh, go to secrets.json that was created we can see the json string okay the json looks like this uh, we can see here that um, we have uh, created um, token and for the value we have a array okay so for each token we have another array and this array has secret and used now let's uh, review uh, first of all index.php has a simple form okay has a simple form um, where we can type in our message and uh, click on create after we uh, submit the form it goes to generate link what this uh, PSP will do is it will first uh, read it will first read this uh, secrets secrets.json file okay now i think you will be able to understand why we need to read it first first we need to read it okay first we need to read it and uh, it will convert this string into array since uh, we can update the array we have we um, create a random token and we update the array like this okay so we add in a token and for the value we give the message and used okay and we put it back after encoding that way it will add a new entry here like this okay okay after that we need to create a new link with a new php file and for the token we need to give the token just created this token will be required uh, to view the secret okay so um, to view the secret 
uh, if uh, the user goes to that link then what it will do is it will again it needs to first read the um, this secret.json and convert it back to array okay and after it has uh, gone back to convert it to array now we can key on token see if used is true or false and if it is false then we can convert it to true and we can uh, uh, take out the message and we can give it okay we also need to update the array so that used if it was false if we set it to true it will be updated here but if the used was already true then it just equals a link has expired this way um, the machine works and finally let's add in the css styling uh, to save time let me just um, copy the styling from our uh, previous machine so i have copied the index.php of our url shortener and let's just uh, paste it here <clears throat> uh, let's just copy this part and uh, paste it here so if we look our machine as now style styling so let's give the id of btn so that the css will be applied to the button as well and let's uh, change the page color okay so let's uh, source for color names uh, let's give it a let's give it uh, this color okay indigo no, actually, let's uh, we we need to give it a light color. So let's give it uh, this color, light sign. Let's make co copy that. Uh, for background color, we can change it. This one. Also, we can we need to change sorting machine to one time as we see secret. Okay, now uh, let me just copy this same uh, styling, copy this code and put it to these two files also. So, gendered link. Uh, let me just paste it uh, up here and uh, let's just um, uh, cut this block and let's put it here. Okay. And finally, for our generate uh, file for view secret, also let's um, add in our HTML and CSS. Sorry. Let's copy this again and let's put it here. Or this block and let's put it here. We have just copied our styling from our previous uh, machines. So now let's check our machine. Uh, if I give it a message and click on create it provided a link if we go to our link um, it shows the message if someone finds the link and tries to access again it says the link has expired okay it looks like our machine is working um, so um, so in this episode uh, we have created a slightly complicated machine uh, please look at the code and uh, if you have any question please leave on the comment i'll try to help in this um, uh, uh, so i hope you like this episode uh, if you like this episode please like share and subscribe uh, in the next episode we will create another interesting and useful machine so this much for now thanks for watching